on the 5th of August 1943, inside of the brutal and barbaric Plötzensee prison, a woman who had been a dancer and a sculptor inside of Nazi Germany was brought to her execution inside the execution chamber. In a courtyard of the prison was a brick-built chamber, and Oda Schottmuller was brought face-to-face with the guillotine that would take her head clean off. Oda Schottmuller's story is one which is shrouded with being a resistance fighter against the Nazis, and she rose up to defy the regime that Hitler instilled on the nation. She was one of many women who lost their heads upon guillotines or foulbiles within German and Nazi prisons. The guillotine blade was dropping so much during the Second World War, inside of Nazi lands, that executioners became so efficient at taking the lives of condemned people that they could perform an execution within 10 seconds of someone being brought into the execution chamber. Join us today as we look at the execution of the female dancer guillotined by the Nazis, and as always, to support the untold past, make sure to click subscribe. Oda Schottmuller was born on the 9th of February 1905 inside of Plusen, and she did not have the greatest start in life, as her mother suffered from mental health problems, and she spent a lot of time inside of a sanatorium. Oda was raised in her home without her mother's influence, and her father tried his best, but when Oda was just 14, her father died. But as a young woman, she did not commit to a career that she one day would want to have, and she was rather laid back about her life and work. Her aunt, who was a sculptor, became her legal guardian, and the pair lived inside of Berlin. But in 1924, Oda Schottmuller then studied an arts and crafts education, and she covered different topics such as goldsmithing and enamel in different German cities. But her family then did not want to support her dreams to either become a dancer or a sculptor. She then enlisted inside of the Berlin School of Modern Artistic Dance, and whilst here she met a number of like-minded people, and she dreamt of becoming an expressive dancer. She managed to pass a physical examination, and she became a dancer in the Volksbühne Theatre. And she was also completing work as a sculptor in her spare time inside her studio in Berlin. By all accounts, the girl who had little aims in life was doing rather well, but she was employed to design and create costumes and also wooden masks inside her studio. Many of these were then used in her performances. However, everything would change following the rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. When on the 15th of January 1933, Hitler became the Chancellor of Germany, his Nazi party would impose restrictions and laws upon many different people. Oda Schottmuller, months later, was ordered that she was required to register within the right chamber of culture, as all dancers were supposed to be registered with the Nazified Culture Department. But Oda's performances became much more experimental, and she chose not to register, and her type of dance even became banned in certain parts of Germany. She performed solo dances in March 1934, and the press gave her good reviews of her work, and wrote much about them. But her dances reflected her feelings about society, and about the oppressive Nazi regime, and she even took part as a dancer during the 1936 Summer Olympics, performing different pieces at ceremonies in front of thousands, and she was even rather well paid by the Nazis for this. However, in October 1937, Oda Schottmuller was hunted by the Reich Chamber of Culture, and she was forced to embark on a course in German dance. She refused to do this, and did not want to be schooled in Nazified dance lessons, and she was then offered to dance in other theatres. On the 11th of November 1941, she gave her final public performance, titled The Last, inside of the Beethoven Saal. However, during this time she met a fellow sculptor named Kurt Schumacher, and the pair then had an affair, and Oda was not aware that Schumacher was actually married. The pair bonded and had a deep friendship which was rooted in their resistance and opposition to the Nazis, and they also held many different interests. The group of resistors that Schottmuller was mixing with later became known as the Red Orchestra. This was a group of anti-Nazi workers who through different contacts discussed and tried to subvert the Nazi regime. Many inside of the Red Orchestra would produce leaflets and posters telling people to not conform to the Nazi beliefs and ideology, and they would try to tell people about the atrocities which were being committed inside of Germany. The term Red Orchestra was used by German secret services as they believed they were associated to Soviet intelligence networks and also that they were working with different Allied intelligence services. However, the Gestapo were always searching for the resistors and Oda's love interest was arrested on the 12th of September 
and his studio was destroyed, and much of his artwork was ruined. But it would not be long before the Nazis also arrested Ida Schottmuller. She was on the 16th of September 1942 arrested inside of her art studio, which was then taken by the Gestapo, and was interrogated inside of a prison based on Alexander Platz. The Gestapo accused her of being a host to a radio set and a transmission device in her studio, and they claimed that she had used this to communicate with other resistors and allied nations. Oda denied this, and she claimed she was not doing anything of the sort. What is rather strange is that the police reports of her arrest have been destroyed, and the only surviving document relating to her arrest and fate are letters that Oda Schottmuller sent from prison to her family members. She claimed that when she was interrogated with the Gestapo, they asked her about many different known resistors or communists, and she stated that she did not know most of these people, who had also been rounded up. In a letter she claimed, I was so glad of my stupidity and cluelessness about political things, I'm entirely unaware of these things. In January 1943, Erda Schertmüller, after being left in prison for some time, was then brought in front of the Reichskriegsgericht, the highest military court inside of Nazi Germany. These had a huge number of treason charges, and she was quickly sentenced to death for the crime of aiding and abetting the preparation of a treasonable enterprise with enemy favouritism. Crimes like this were treated by the Nazis with utmost severity, and because of this, Oda Schottmüller was to be condemned by the guillotine or the foul bile, as it was known. Because of the huge amount of people being executed inside of Nazi Germany for these crimes, she was forced to wait a number of months inside of German prisons for her execution. In March 1943, she was sent to Plötzensee Prison for six weeks, before she was then sent to Barminstrasse Women's Prison. While she was here, Oda appealed directly to Hitler for a pardon and clemency, but this was rejected. On the 6th of August 1943, Oda Schottmüller was sent back to Plötzensee Prison for her execution. Inside of the courtyard of the prison was a small brick-built execution chamber, and inside of this room thousands of people would be condemned during the Third Reich. There was a hanging beam there, with many different hooks, so executions could be performed en masse, but there was also a guillotine made from metal. This was known as a German Faubile, and it was known that executioners could take someone's head off within 10 seconds of them entering the chamber, as they were so efficient, and the blade would be released onto the condemned. Oda Schottmüller was brought into the execution chamber, and the executioner's assistant approached her and secured her hands behind her back, after her identity was confirmed. Following this, she was then strapped onto the tilting board before this was slid under the guillotine blade and she was locked into place. The executioner then pushed the lever, which released the blade, and instantly when the blade fell, the head of the 38-year-old former dancer and sculptor was taken off. Erda Schottmüller was a very talented dancer and also artist and within Nazi Germany, she managed to maintain her career and gain support for her artistic endeavours. She was a woman who opposed the Nazi regime, and she then, for her links to other prominent resistors, lost her life inside the execution chamber of Plötzensee Prison with the sharp blade of the guillotine. She was just one of hundreds, if not thousands, of women who were executed in the same manner for their opposition to Hitler's government. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.